Hey y'all, I hear Concept One Pulley Systems in Cummins, Georgia, and uh, I'm gonna do an interview with one of the owners, Randy, and while we're doing that, we're gonna walk around the shop and check some cool stuff out that's happening back there. So let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Randy, thanks for giving me some time today, brother. Yeah, anytime. But what would be a reason that, say, I would buy a Concept One Pulley System over somebody else's? Well, what we've always tried to do from day one with Concept One is, is to be user-friendly and keep it, keep it simple. That's what we've always tried to do. We want to be neat, and clean, make it nice, nice system, but it's got to work. Our, our first, first line of defense anywhere is, is as far as getting our uh, project going is what well, has it going to function. Right. We'll make this sure this thing functions right. That's priority number one for concept priority number one, one is making sure it does what it's we supposed to do. We got to get the guy to the car show, to the cruise in, and got to get him back home. That's right. the main. He thing. can't show it if he's not there. That, that's no fun. That's you know, right. Nobody wants to be sitting on the side of the road, and nobody. I don't want anybody sitting on the side of the road with my stuff. So. No, that's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> that's the main thing. Uh, but that's that's normally what we, we start out with. We want to do that. Of course, you know, there's always beauty's got to come into it at some point. But, sure. You know, the function's got to be first. That's why we use you know top brand stuff, Power Master, Delphi, all the, all the big guys. That's what we want to use. Edelbrock. Uh, you know, we don't we don't want to redesign that. That's not what we do. We design the, the stuff to run all this stuff. That's so, right. Uh, and in that aspect, we like to make sure we we get that functionality taken care of first. Use the best products we can use, and then go from there. You know, make make it make it all flow together and, and make it look nice at the end right and you know this is this is stuff guys like to you know like to open that hood and show off and we're kind of right in the front so we, we have to make it look good uh, that's right and you know the, the to run the modern accessories you know the modern power steering pumps the modern alternators the high amp stuff that's got to be ran now you need a serpentine belt on there to run that kind of stuff and you know trying to tend to strap three or four v belts on there it's That'd be you know, we, we've way. talked about this it's old school you know and right. you know when you build a high dollar car you want to put something on there that's modern that people recognize and not have to do all that other stuff but Really, the, the accessories kind of drive that because uh, the compressors, power steering pumps, alternators, they need this kind of belt to run this stuff. And right. It works so much better, looks better, cleans everything up. I got you. How long have you all been in business? We've been doing this since 2001. We, we came out with our Concept One pulley system uh, in 2001, our first generation stuff. And then we, uh, you know, before that, we'd been building racing parts and all kind of different stuff. Uh, so you Had guys... been in business for five or six years before that, had been restoring cars for five or ten years before that, and had been, grew up you know, pumping gas and changing oil at, at my dad's Goodyear place. Been into business. <laughs> been, all been, been playing with cars all our lives. And I like to say, I'm still getting to play with cars. So right. That's great. Yeah, that's very cool. So when you first got started, what do you do? Do you go to like get all the LS motors and just start messing with them? Or is it an easier way to do it? Yeah, well now, uh, you know, we always get an engine. There's there's no, no substitute for having the real thing sitting out there. There's always going to be something that's uh, not in your CAD file that's you know, it will rear its ugly head one day when you when you try to bolt everything together. So we always always have rear en real real engines, but we uh, I start out with CAD files most of the time. And you know, I'm a member of SEMA, and we're able to have a, a relationship with them where we can get a directly products directly from the manufacturers right. as far as CAD files and things like that. That does help. Uh, that that's 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 the starting process. You've got everything you need to start laying out where you want to put stuff, and then you you, know, you can use that. Of course, later on you'll need to put your prototypes up to an engine and make sure everything clears, but right. uh, the, the, it's invaluable to have the... You can't do it cases. all on the computer. No, no you can't. You, you know, it's, it's kind of fun. You have to, there's both. You just got to have both. Right. You've got to have the computer these days. You know, I, the, my earliest stuff uh, years ago, I had 2D CAD stuff, you know, and that was that was good for yeah. what it was. You know, when 3D CAD stuff come along, it's like, man, you got you to gotta, you gotta step up and move up to the 3D, and, right. and it really made a tremendous difference. You just made the, the turnaround time was a lot faster. It was much, much easier to to really see what you wanted to do. Right. That was the best part of it. Uh, but yes, yeah, so we did that, and you know, you got to have the computer to do all that. But then, you know, you got to see it on the engine. You know, you got to bolt that stuff, and you got to stand back ten foot and look at this thing. Right. And you know, sometimes I actually have to get up on a ladder and look down at it the way it's going to be in a car. Right. You know, because yeah, you know, that's, right I don't like the way that looks. It's not, it's not as symmetric as I like it. Well, then I step up and I can see it down like it'd be in the car. Okay, I can work with that. Yeah. Many times you go back in there, and you know, you may have to tweak it a little bit. You may have to tweak it up. I'll say an eighth of an inch. Sometimes it's less than that. You know, right. we get down into some really tiny numbers. Right. But that's how far we go with it. You know, right. if, if we need to get down into uh, moving something twenty-five thousandths and it's going to make make all the difference in the world, that's what we'll do. So, and you find that sometimes twenty-five thousandths will make all the difference. You know, it's funny. A bolt hole can, you know, on, the, on some of the newer engines compared to the older engines. Uh, the newer engines, you know, it, wherever it is in your CAD file, it's going to be there on the other one. But some of the older stuff, you know, it would 
I don't know, stuff made on Tuesday might be a little different than stuff made on Wednesday, you know, oh, so, right. and, and things such as a head gasket, you know, right. guy runs a 40,000 head gasket instead of a 20,000 head gasket, well, you do, you moved everything up just a little bit, up and out just a little bit, and you know, you got to adjust for that, and you got to you have a little bit of leeway right there to, to make sure all that works, but uh, yeah, it, it does get down to those close, those close dimensions sometimes just to make something, you know, twisted just the right way to get it in there. Uh, funny things like that, but yeah, Chevy stuff we do, uh, we're working on now the LT. Stuff. Okay. But we got the LS, big block, small block, you know, it's it's pretty much all covered there. Ford stuff we've got big block, FE big block, uh, Cleveland, even 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 did some stuff for the 351 modifieds and 400s, you know, there's right. a few of those things out there. Yeah. And of course the, the Windsor stuff, but uh, you know, maybe at some point we'll hit that Coyote also. But you know, oh, okay. a guy can get an LS and stick that in anything, it's not fair for a Ford guy not to be able to throw a... I agree. Fuel injected, right? Very powerful, easy to start, easy to very reliable engine in there too. So I, right. I feel for those guys. We like to we like to move on along with that if we can. Uh, now I know designs your department and sales is not right. But if somebody's <laughs> interested in Concept One, fully on you got the website mm -hmm. here on Facebook. Yep. What are some of the retails? Are there any retail places available? Yeah, we we uh we have lots of dealers across the nation. You know, there's uh, uh mainly what we do though, what we like to do. We like to work with installers. Yeah. You know, if, if you've got a, a hot rod guy, a hot rod builder that you like to deal with, have them call us. Okay. We work with those guys. We'll do that. Uh, but there's the yeah, others: Ecklers, uh, Dan Chuck. Those guys. They they carry our stuff. Uh, we don't really go with the summit or anything like that at the, at the time. We're kind of kind of in, in that range where we have a lot of options. We have power steering options. We have alternator options. We have finish options. A lot of things that that makes it almost impossible to stock. Right. You know, if you if you had every one of our uh, internal part numbers, then then you could fill a warehouse with that because of all the different options. There's you know different power steering options even you know kind of different reservoir you want or maybe even what fill you want. We can change the pressures and stuff. So we don't. So all of that now that's a good that brings up a good point. So all of that would be available through your normal catalog, or would that be something where they would want to get in touch with you directly and say, hey, here's a list of what I'm doing. Can you? adapt your system or sell me the right system to work all this yeah stuff. well believe it or not most of it can be done on our website we have a just a option checklist oh, okay you pick this you pick this you pick this and you pick the you motor pick. you're gonna run air you're gonna run power yep. steering and you check all these things yep. and then it tells pick you pick your what, finish uh tell us what amperage alternator you want to run on what that finishes thing. are available uh we've got uh our, our colored finishes i like to call them or, or anodized we do black anodized which is a black hard coat our most durable looks awesome. I like it because it's kind of low key and I don't like to polish anything. So right, yeah. <laughs> uh, we have a clear anodized. It's a really neat finish. It's more of a pewter color. Not really shiny, but very durable. And you know, it's just a nice looking, uh, nice looking finish. We have machine finish, which is just how they come up off of our machines. It's, it's nothing, nice. It's no nothing clear, done to it. We, we, we wipe it down. We get all the fingerprints off of it. We make it shine a little Will bit. Will that wear? Uh, it does wear. Now it is, it's one of those things. It's raw aluminum. Right. So, you know, you're going to get water spots on there if you get it wet and you know, you have to wipe that stuff off and get out your mother's polish every once in a while, which is also what we have. We have a polish finish. You can do that same okay. thing with it. So. Well, brother, I appreciate your time today, and thanks so much for all the support Concept One Police gives me and invite me in here. Let me look around, sit down, and talk with the main man. I interviewed your brother earlier. Yep. We had a, did a Skype interview with him, and so this time I said, well, let's talk to the guy that actually designs it, comes up with this stuff. And, yeah. you know, folks, I just want you to know, I mean, everybody I talk to, Concept One Police has always got a good reputation, and um, I've been dealing with these folks for the last couple of years, and um, just, just great people. And I think the most exciting thing to me about it is and, and you know I don't I know that he doesn't want me to get too deep into customization stuff but this is still a place that you can call and, and the owners and the guys that came up with this stuff still work here every day and they understand as, as Randy was saying they started out they were you know worked at a gas station built cars they did all that stuff so when you call in desperation going why won't this work they can relate they know what's happening on the other end of the phone and, and, and it's not just a paycheck that they're going to get on Friday and go home and if you're happy it doesn't matter to them so you know give them a try I'm going to get out there I try to find them cover them all that I can to show you they're really good looking systems and uh, I can't help believe that you wouldn't be just totally ecstatic if that's what you decided to do yeah man I appreciate it. I appreciate you coming down and talking to us and uh, you know I don't I don't 
seek the spotlight too much, but... Uh, yeah. That's why I put you behind the camera. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> right. You were nervous. I said, don't worry, yeah. Randy. I'm just going to get your voice in this one, brother. Yeah. So, yeah, now, no, like no, I said, no, I really appreciate it. So. I appreciate all you do for me. And uh, like I said, I, you know, no matter what somebody does, the product's got to got to be a reputable product. Because to me, I feel like I'm telling all these guys out there that, hey, you can trust these people. I know them. You can trust them and make a good product. And I like I tell people, I'm really easy to find. You know, like it's hard for me yeah, to hide. Yeah, can't run from anybody, right? right? Everybody knows <laughs> pretty much where I'm at every day or where I was last week. So, yeah. um, no, I appreciate you all standing behind your product and having a good product and then turning around and sharing your support with me. Thanks again. No, I thank you. Thank you. appreciate that. And we do. We're, we're the same way. We, we like to, you know, these are our products. You know, this is something, you know, we, we design these things to, to get people down the road. And that's exactly what we wanted to do. And, uh, you know, if, if that's not doing what it's supposed to do, I want to know about it. So. <laughs> Hey y'all, don't forget to visit scottydtv.com for more cool content and an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the logo at the end of this video.